Hey, what's going on, y'all? Sam is Slam here. Welcome to another. This is my coping skill. My journal vlogs. I, turn, I mean, I change it from Slam Unfiltered Vlogs to this is my coping skill because it is. This is how I could. I'm journaling out. This is my journal. This is one of my coping skills for out going through going through life and depression and sadness and loneliness. And this is how I like to do. I, I started to do everyday vlogs and just talk about. And and in a, in a, in a random various topic. I mean, these can go up to ten minutes or more. I tend to not shut the fuck up. Uh, my son's here. We picked him up today. Um, he's actually awake. He's probably gonna wake up at seven eight o'clock tomorrow. Um, yeah, but uh, he's in bed now on his tablet playing Roblox, or hopefully going to bed. But yeah, um, through the day this morning, I, I've been up since I'm off since one to four o'clock. Not one to four, no, four, four o'clock. My, my girlfriend had to go and she needed to ride. Well, she wanted me to take her, I drive her car and take her over there. She don't like going. Dunham Position Beach Center is only 15 minutes away, but it's in a very, it's, it's a very far 15 minutes away. Um, I ain't that bad. I drove there many of times. Took my old buddy, took my old ex friend Timmy when he worked there years ago. But took her to work, came back home, decided to. I sit for a minute, uh, but I was on TV, I was on YouTube, checking out Diz Unplugged. I'm like obsessed with, like, well, not really obsessed, but I enjoy like Walt Disney World stuff theme park stuff which you know in a way like i'm still gonna be doing like oh you still it's my, like i'm talking to myself or anybody else because i only have 10 percent of my subscriber unit watch my videos and then the rest are not subscribed and I, I wish people could subscribe to me and check out well what's the hell what the fuck is saying saying bitching about today or ranting today or hey what's he doing today but i guess i'm nothing entertaining oh well that's fine oh well i don't care this is my journal so but um but I like watching, like, when I go on my own Slim and Filter, it's basically it's going to be my certain topics, like, what I like and what I'm into. I mean, I can talk about here in the journal, you know, some of it. You know, I like watching Disney World stuff and people going there. Like, I like the Tim Tracker. Check him out. The Tim Tracker on YouTube.com. He's a good, him and his wife, and they have a boy now with a son. And I never thought, I, I don't watch any YouTubers. I was my, was, when I was with my ex-wife, she watched a lot of YouTubers that had kids with their shaytards. And some other people, the Daily Bumps, which I'm probably going to check out just to see how they are. Annoying. Amazing. Yeah, whatever song it was. Fucking weird motherfucker, too. But other than that, I watched some of that show and slept. I took a little nap. Picked up my buddy Sparky. My buddy Sparky wanted to pick him up, so we had a little, tr little trips to Wally World. To GameStop, to Dollar General North, no, to Dollar General South, to Dollar General North, to get find his Amazon gift card for his Final Fantasy, wherever the fuck online thing, whatever. Sparky, you know, I, you know, I'm, there's like those memes where it's like the popular learner, you know. I, I, I consider myself as a popular learner. My depression and anxiety makes me feel like everybody's against me. Against the whole fucking world. The world's against me. And I don't, and maybe it's just myself. But then again, all these people here, when I try to talk, but then I talk and like no one gives a fuck. But here's the reason why. They work. They, they're busy their own fucking lives, which is understandable. But then you had me and my, my depression shit, the things that... But didn't... I tell you what, ever since like last month or even after when I got, I talk about, I keep bringing it up, every time I got drunk, there, there is, every, all, me and my little small crew of friends, well, you know what though, I'm just their acquaintance. It's depressing as fuck, but that's how it is, I guess. Unfortunately, I'm that guy, you know, one life to live and one life to give. And yeah, just, it's just sad and depressing. You have all these people that your friends back 10, 15, yeah, hey, man, oh, man, like my friend Joe. I'll call his name out. 
He's on fucking Facebook all the time. Hey, man. You know what? People think I'm very entitled. They call me entitled as fuck. Yeah, I have an SSI. I have SSI, uh, SSI uh, currency a month that I don't take advantage of. I use it for this fucking place I bought or I rented. Thank you, taxpayers. You're going to bitch about that, aren't you? Godly, yeah. I can see my girlfriend's grandparents if they watch this video. I don't want to be your damn friend here. You think you think you don't like me now? Look at my face. You're going to see on my Facebook. I'll put some fucked up shit on here. God, it just... But my friend, he is like, Oh, is anybody with a deep player? My got broke. Come on. Like, he's just asking people to give him free shit. And then, oh, I hate everybody. I want to be with my family. Fuck everybody else. And I'm like, hey, man. I'm not saying shit. I always want to hang out. And like tomorrow is or Sunday is Elimination Chamber, the pay per view. Let's see if he's gonna like, if he's gonna forget. He's probably gonna forget, unless I fucking if I remind him. Oh shit, I'm gonna, like, oh, whatever. Then fuck you then. But yeah, I had to get that out of my chest. I'm just so fucking. It's just, it's just depressing, and sad. Some of these friends and then just yeah. So one, I can't wait to have me a job so I can be busy as fuck too. So I can just say fuck everybody else, I guess. I don't fucking know. But after you're taking Sparky home, I got me some rip up. Figo Red Pop. Can I say Red Pop? Red Pop. Like Britsky Pop, wherever the fuck. Britsky Pop. From the, from the Ramones. Um, after that, what, what did I do? I don't know what I did, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I know what I remember. I finally went on, I think, an hour walk, at least. Or at least 45, 50 minutes at least. Uh, I've been trying to to give me give, to give me self goals, you know. Um, yeah, to give to give me self goals. And the thing is, when spring hits, I'm definitely going to walk every day. I'm gonna try. I'm going to. I have to at least walk. I want at least get up walk because I don't exercise as much. I'm getting even more fatter. Which I'm not really too happy about, but that's me from overeating a lot, and I guess I'm an emotional eater. But I think I eat out of boredom, and then uh, I emotional spend. I spend a lot of money. I spend money when I don't need, and that's why I try not to spend money. I try to use what I can here. But other than that, just I, I walked for a little bit, and then I listen to the, I listen to death metal music. But sometimes I hardly don't listen. To me. I do listen to music, but some music just. I get these visions of shit that's not going to happen, or I get these these post reoccurring fucking visions of like demons tapping me with a pitchfork, saying, "Oh, you can't get this and you can't get that." I still have these visions of with a female that I liked and had a crush on, which was one sided, by the way. Like always, it's always one sided. No one gives a shit. It's like, well, I never saw anything new, but you know what, whatever. You can go yeehaw and go cosplaying some dick, and you can maybe have fun with that, then. I don't care, but it's just, I get all these fucking recurring, like, PTSD flashbacks and shit. Like, with my ex-wife, when I caught her, when she was naked in the dress, in the, in the, in the closet, and then I have, like, people, like, my ex, or, or my girlfriend here. Who fuck who you know, last year who such my good friend who I thought was the best friend of mine who I met who who's a wrestling friend nope he's a fucking cunt you and your you know I'm gonna have fucked up hits and teeth but I don't got no fucking cinnabite hick bitch teeth you fucking cinnabite hick go back to fucking pinhead's hellhole God it's, I don't know how in the hell. It's gonna happen again. I don't know. I hope not. But yeah, I, I, this is gonna be long. But other than that, I chilled out, rock and rolled. Um, I picked up my girlfriend, and yeah, I, I picked up my girlfriend from work, and I was already running late. And then we headed off to pick up my son. He was in Kokomo. I just saw his new pictures. That I hope we can try to get. This mom sent me to him. Yeah, but I picked him up. It's always I, I love I love tech pigs on my son, you know. And then the times where if where where my ex wife and her husband pick up my son, it's just got me kind of. It means just 
I mean, I like pick out. I mean, it's gonna be great to have help to have them pick me up. But I mean, if they live in Cromwell, yes, thank you. You know, but they don't live in Cromwell. They live in Galveston. So I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. But them picking them up, it helps me. But then again, those those drives, even in that, even like the Cromwell drives, those were long as fuck. And those were kind of depressing too. It's like a long way, and then you. But right is at the finish line, and you take them back home. And then you have the times where oh, it's time to go home, and then you, there's long trips, and then you drop them off. And then there's, there's times when you're by yourself. And I'll never forget. But now, now I don't get it. Now I don't. I don't do as much because you know when I, I drop them off, it's not that long trip. But then sometimes, well, say for instance, uh, and this is all that's gonna happen today. It was just me hanging out, with my son, and eating pizza with my parents' house. I tried out some also, by the way. I tried out some World of Warcraft, which World of Warcraft. I ha I don't even get. I don't get any enjoyment out of it. I'm just sitting here doing what my mouse is. Do, 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 click, click, click. But it's like the same thing over and over and over. And I'm like. What's the point? I'm doing these missions. I don't even care. I just want to ca attack and shit. But I end up deleting it because I, I mean I still have it probably saved up on my battle.net. But I just I'm a little I'm a little six. But I just don't. And I tell you what, that fucking World of Warcraft destroys your fucking your your fucking laptop battery just in an instant. It's a fucking an instant killer. I don't know how to fuck. That's an in, that, that game is an instant fucking killer. So you might as well have your fucking battery pack on or something. But it's just, I mean, I'll probably down again, but it's just, it's just, I don't do, it's just like, am I even getting enjoyment out of it? I mean, it's cool. It's addicting. But then again, the same fucking time is, is like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Hell, I was just fishing with a fish net. And this angry fucking clawfish was stabbing me. And I was like, well, fuck you. And some of this shit, I'm like, you watch me. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, I'll maybe try it again. But back to my son. I'll conclude it with this. Oh, yeah, we get to watch Angry Birds 2. So it's been great. It's been a great evening. My girlfriend's off tomorrow. So tomorrow, we're going to go take Ryan to escapades. So that's going to be a fun journal, journal, journal entry for tomorrow. And I recommend everybody to go to uh, escapades. But I conclude this, you know, it's a sad note. But then again, it's just when I would take Ronnie home from Cromwell, and then I do the two weekends back and forth. Um, I don't know. It's just when I, I wish I gave every weekend. But I don't know. But I get, I give him my, my, I give him two weekends in a row. So, like last week, I got him last week. Then I got him this week, this weekend. And then next weekend is a bye, which is basically my week. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, that's just, when when I when I was working my groundskeeping job, that actually kept it, like, steady. Like, you know, this week I get him again, this week, and then I know, oh, you know, I'm getting him. I don't know, I think I got him every other week. No, I don't know how it started, but that's what I like doing. Because some weekends are kind of gay and boring, just bland. Like last weekend was it was it was bland. The thing is, I follow a schedule of life. I talk about I I pay my bills, get all my bills and everything situated. Then I do the fun stuff for me, for my girlfriend, my son, and my family. What I can do, what I can, what, you know, all I can save on, you know, the money I have. I, you know what? I can just tell you. I get basically three hundred dollars just to survive a month, and and I do it. But I keep interrupting, and it's, this is already going fourteen minutes. I don't care. When I see my son, and when I take him home, basically like the last weekend here, like Sunday coming up, you know, and my window is always be looking at him. I don't need to look at outside. I have those side mirror, side mirrors to do that. But I would look at, I would, I would, I always have him looking, you know. He's always on his tablet anyway. But every time when I get closer, like when I get past it, well, basically, probably when I get past to hockey or cookie, whatever, chalky pong or choppy pong, little, it's a little, little town, and 
that's when I'd probably start like, yeah, I'm going to start talking to him a little bit or whatever, man. But I'd go inside and take him to his mom's, you know. But then when I get back in that car, and then I look at the mirror, and he's not there. That's one of the most depressing things, but he sees it. He's fine. It's just those times in Cromwell, those times, those long trips, I'd always be depressed. And I still get it. So, but yeah, this is a very long vlog. I just want to tell you what's been going on. It's been okay today. It's been a, a great day. It's just everything's speeding, speeding along. And also, too, this is my uh, back to the uh, anti-420 fast. So, ooh, made it one day. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Give me your prayers, but uh, thank you for whoever watch, if someone watches this video. Oh, well, I don't care. I say it, future Sam. I love you, buddy. I love myself so much. You know, you, you need, I need to give myself a hug. But we'll see you again for tomorrow, March 7th. Peace.